now. Do you guys know what it takes to sing a cappella? It's like you have to be like, no, that's not where I'm at right now in my life, okay? Just telling you. So I came up with a story, and I'm so happy to share this story with you guys. And you know who you are. It's my first cop lock story. It's how oh. Teresa started to turn oh, no. anti-statist, <laughs> anti-cop, what? Yes. Yeah. Yes, this happened. Oh. I went one day to an Occupy New Hampshire statewide GA. Yep. Yeah. Hello. The first statewide GA. I wrote a fucking thing saying no GA has any ability to tell any other GA what they're going to do. <laughs> Four hours getting that across to people, it was really a thing. It really was. So the second one, I was like, yes, we're going to the second Occupy GA. Yes. yes. Okay. GA stands for General Assembly. Yeah. General. General Assembly. Wow. It really, I mean, seriously, you know what I'm talking about, Matt. You know what I'm talking about. Solid. So. The second state, don't be embarrassed, this was beautiful. Honestly, we passed the statewide GA. Listen, no, seriously, I shouldn't have drank before I did this. You guys are all fucking screwed now. Drunk history. Had we not done the statewide general assembly thing. It is. Maybe you should have drank twisted. Oh my god, you're giving me wine at the point in time that I'm telling this story. But anyway, Keep going. We did the statewide G8, the first one, and seriously, that was a big deal because that bought us a year of time. It bought us a fucking year. We got fucking banned a year later. So we got a year from that fucking thing. So whatever, it took four hours, right? So this was the second Occupy Statewide GA. Yay! We're going to the second Statewide Occupy GA. I'm so excited. Uh, Teresa, I need the car today. Oh. Okay, well, I'll drive the Mazda. Okay, there's no sticker. I know, but it's only going to be like an $80 ticket if I get pulled over. And that's okay, because I really need to be at this thing. Because this is really important to me. And I'm going to check the car. <laughs> okay, if that's what you think is right, I trust you. Go to the statewide GA. My friend Sherry made some beans. Invited us all to her house. How could I resist the beans? So I follow the fucking caravan down with Abel Freeman in front of me. Abel Freeman, motherfucker! <laughs> I don't know where he is, but I miss that guy. He's not in jail anymore. He's not in jail. He's free. He's a free man. Abel is a free man. He's on an ankle bracelet. I'll be here all week. He's a little freedom. It's anarchy! Oh my god! No, it's fine. I'm totally cool with this. I could do this, whatever. Um. Okay, so I'm following Abel, and we're driving to share to share the fucking. Fucking beans! <laughs> and I knew that I didn't have a fucking sticker. Sorry guys, I'm excited. <laughs> and there was a fucking cop on 114 uh, on the other uh, fucking side, side of the fucking goddamn oh fucking road! <laughs> Motherfucker! <laughs> I should have just stayed home. But no, no, I have to change the world again! <laughs> Thank you. Sorry, this is a lot of wine on my hand. So, woo, woo, woo. let me pull over. Nobody's behind. No, I, I did not know what was coming at this point. And I had seen com cop lock videos before, and I was like, oh, these guys are so fucking annoying. Why do they have to irritate the fucking cops? God damn it. And then. I got pulled over because I didn't have that sticker and like literally I had picked up the car well okay Dave picked up the car on Friday we had an appointment on Monday for inspection so this is what, like I wasn't trying to be a douche I was just trying to get through my fucking life so this cop pulls me over and he comes up and he's like oh you're, you have no sticker 
<sighs> Listen, dude, I got a car here. Okay, I can drive on the roads. I don't know what's going on in Somalia. I know what's going on here. And this is what's going on here. Okay. <laughs> So this guy comes out and he's like, show me your license and registration. I'm like, oh, okay. And he's like, do you know why I pulled you up? I'm like, yes, because I do not have a sticker. I understand I do not have a sticker. <laughs> <laughs> and he's like, okay, I'm going to go call you in. I'm like, okay, you go call me in. I understand that I have violated the law and I am a citizen that needs to pay the appropriate fine for this thing. <laughs> I get that, okay? This is my status phase. So then, a minivan pulls up in front of me. Actually, no. No, no, no. Pulled at the stop sign, took a left, pulled over, Abel, gave Elizabeth and Matthew a camera. And up to this point with the cop, it was like we were legit. It was like I was going to get a ticket and I was going to go home and it was going to be fine. It was fine. We had an understanding between the two of us. Oh. And then these guys come out and they're like, hey. <laughs> <laughs> and the cop's like, rah, 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 rah. what am I supposed to do right now? I do not know. And these guys, they know their fucking rights. Oh my god, they know their fucking rights. And they're like, no, you cannot do what you're telling me you need to do. And this is my side. And I'm in my car going, motherfucker, this sucks. Because it took the thing that was here and put it up to here. So they sit there and they're like, rada, 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 rada. I'm sorry, guys, I don't remember what you said. I have no idea. And the guy walks back to his fucking car. That's the cop I'm talking about right now. And he's like, are these your friends? And I'm like, oh, I, oh, I don't, um, I mean, we're going to the same place. <laughs> <laughs> and he comes back and he gives me the ticket and he's like here's your ticket for having an expired fucking sticker and I'm like great thank you very much thank you I appreciate your levity in this situation and he goes and I'm towing your car oh. <sighs> what do you mean you're towing my car. The appointment on Monday was to fix the shield, the, the crack in the windshield. They were coming to replace it on Monday. I called the insurance company, it was all set up. I don't think this is set for you, Rob. But it was safe before my friends were recording. So. Tow truck is here, so it doesn't fucking matter. <laughs> Are you fucking kidding me? Now, oh my god, this is a long story. I didn't realize this was it's gonna okay, be this long. Going. Okay, going. all right. If you guys get bored, just tell me and I'll stop. All right. They tried to arrest us for jaywalking. They did try to. Oh my god! Oh my god! And Matt fucking asked them. He said, "It was his first day." It was his first day as a part-time officer in Bradford, New Hampshire. I will just. I was gonna say that later. I was gonna say that later. Fine. Okay. All right. So this first time, first fucking weekend. Let him get a lesson. If he's gonna be a fucking cop, let him fucking see cop lockers on his first fucking weekend in the fucking place. So, okay. So back to like Teresa trauma. Okay. So he goes, and I'm gonna tow your car. And I'm like, wait, what? And he's like. Your car is unsafe to drive with that crack across the thing. And I'm like, oh, I told you this. No, it was fine before they were recording. And then the tow truck comes up. And I'm like, what the fuck? Sherry and Bill. <clears throat> they made the beans. That's all you need to know. They made the beans and they invited us to their house. They are fucking awesome. So they sort of realized that there was kind of a lot of people starting to gather around my fucking Mazda MX-3 with a fucking crack on the windshield. And they said, all right, <laughs> yes. And they said, all right, why don't we all go back to my house? Teresa, just have the tow truck bring them to the car to your house. And I was like, all right, cool, fine. 
I get in the car, we go back to the house, two hours later, my car is not there, I start to wonder where my car is, because it wasn't that far down the road. Sherry and Bill start making calls. Thankfully, they're natives. <laughs> Native natives. So they know the sheriff. They call him. They know a lawyer in Keene. They call him. They call everyone they know. And somehow, the arrest warrant that was issued because the cop, when I left to go back to Sherry and Bill's, decided that was a time to do a courtesy inventory of my vehicle. Oh, no! Where apparently they may have found some weed. Oh. That much fucking weed. And apparently there was a warrant for my arrest. Yes. Thankfully, Sherry and Bill, they knew people, including the sh the like guy in charge, the police police chief. That's what they call the guy, the police chief. And they had me come in on Monday morning, where I brought the recording yes. of Elizabeth and Matthew. <laughs> and was able to sit across from the police chief with my FUCK THOSE FUCKING COP BLOCKERS FOR MAKING MY LIFE DIFFICULT <laughs> and say but officer that's not true and I have it recorded oh, so no. can I show you the recording oh. and suddenly the charges were dropped oh, yeah. I wasn't 